Hey guys, it's Shannon. Today I'm going to do a review of the Evology skincare line. And I was sent the uh, line from beautystat.com and thank you to them for sending me these samples so that I could try the product and tell you about it. Um, but obviously, like always, I'm going to give you my own personal opinion on the products. So definitely no need to worry there. <laughs> If you follow my blog, quite a while back I did post a discount code there where you could get a sample size of um, the Evology e-system for a, a very highly discounted rate. And so some of you may have, may recall that or may have taken advantage of it. So hopefully you did. And if you did and have been trying the products, then I'd be interested to hear what you have to say about them below. Um, there are quite a few things I need to cover in this review and so I do have some notes so if you see me kind of looking over to the side I'm going to pull those notes up and make sure I cover all of my bases because there's a lot to tell you about the products. So I'm just first going to show you the products that I have here and then I'm going to start to kind of break them down and talk about each one individually. The first thing I have is the Evology Stay Clear Cleanser and this is a full size comes in a box like this and the bottle looks like this and it just has a pump at the top. Next I have the Evology Stay Clear Cream and this is a full size of this as well. Comes in a bottle like this. Again comes with a pump. All of the products have pumps so it's actually I think very convenient. I think a lot of people prefer um, the easy dispensing that a pump provides. So um, Next is the Evology E-System and the E-System includes an intensive blemish serum and the Stay Clear Cream. So it's got a cream got the cream and a serum included. This is the um, largest size one. Again, same thing with the bottles. They're both just bottles like this with a pump. And then I have like a travel size one. So this is the same thing. It's the e-system with the serum and the cream. The difference is this is 0.23 fluid ounces. And then this bigger one is uh, 0.5 fluid ounces on the serum and then the 0.23 ounces on the cream. So the cream sizes are the same in both of these. It's the serum that's bigger in this one. Uh, the full size cream is a full ounce. And then just since I've covered everything else, the full size cleanser is 5 fluid ounces. And then this is the sample size that you were able to get at a discounted rate Again, it's the E-System with the serum and the cream, and these are 0.17 fluid ounces. So it's just a little envelope, and it's got the little, you know, squeeze tube. So some of the benefits of the product and, and what these products are designed to do, they're designed to give you control of your disruptive, eruptive skin, so meaning blemishes. It clears blemishes rapidly and effectively. It reduces scarring and lightens dark spots, and it is non-irritating and non-drying. A similar information is that the uh, Evology works by intensifying your skin's healing power. Its patent pending YS3 complex combines natural ingredients with an innovative trans-epidermal absorption enhancer to rapidly penetrate deep below the skin surface to where it's needed most, according to the packaging. And so the Evology E system consists of the serum that rapidly clears blemishes and the cream that helps keep skin clear, moisturized, and helps reduce breakouts, post-blemish scarring, and skin discoloration. Together, the serum and the cream will make your skin visibly clearer, look healthier, and feel smoother without dryness, irritation, or redness. Just to give you kind of an overall idea of how the products worked for me, um, I did wear a lot less makeup today, so hopefully you can kind of see my skin a little better. Um, I have been using these products for a little while, so um, I, I think I could probably continue to use them for a lot longer. Um, I, skincare is one of those products that I really like to use for a very long time before I make final judgments, but I do feel like I've been using these long enough to, I've been using them for quite a few weeks, so I feel like I've been using them long enough to really kind of give you a pretty, you know, a pretty solid idea of how they would work and, and how they work for me. Um, the first thing I should tell you is I really don't have a problem with acne breakouts, so it's a little bit hard for me to tell you, you know, how effective it would be if you are somebody who has a really big problem with acne or cystic acne. Um, for me, I, if I sleep with my makeup on, you know, I'm running a risk of maybe getting a, a pimple here or there. But to be honest with you, I really don't have breakouts um, with acne very often at all. I mean, if I get 
one pimple a year, maybe one or two, then that would be normal normal for me. And um, I have more problems with, because I have psoriasis and immune system problems, I have problems with my skin reacting to things that I eat. So I tend to get hives and rashes and blisters and things like that. Um, so that's more of a problem for me. Acne, though, is not is not really too much of a problem. So um, I just want to caution you and say, you know, I, I really can't tell you completely how well this would work for you, but I feel like if you are having a really hard time with acne and cystic acne and any of those kinds of problems and you've not found anything yet that is really working for you, then what the heck, give this product a try. It's, it's probably worth um, giving it a try. And it's not, you know, it's, it doesn't have to be prescribed, so it's not going to be as harsh as something you would have to get from a doctor. So it's at least worth trying, you know, one round of it and see how it works for you. Some of the points that I'm, I have been asked to discuss is, uh, first of all, whether or not it's gentle to the skin. Um, I didn't have any problems with the cleanser at all. The serum, which I'll get into detail about, um, is, I did have some stinging sensation with the serum. So if you have extremely sensitive skin, just be aware that that could be an issue for you. But again, you have to remember that my skin tends to react to things, and so there are times when it is just more sensitive in general to everything. And so, um, you know, you, you got to kind of give it a, a little bit of a benefit of the doubt that it may, it probably is, is my skin more than something that would affect everyone. But it does sort of work similar to the way, um, or it does sort of feel similar to the way a toner would feel going onto the skin. So just keep that in mind if you're sensitive to toners, you might have a sensitivity to the serum. Um, all of the other products though, uh, the cleanser and the cream, I didn't seem to have any types of issues with. Um, you know, they, they felt similar to other products that I've tried in the past going on the skin. As far as them being non-drying, I've, I've not had an issue with them really drying out my skin. The products are recommended to be used morning and night. And the serum is recommended to be used if you have a breakout to use it twice daily on, you know, directly on the breakout. Um, I don't do a skincare routine twice a day. I just don't need to. Um, I do a full skincare routine at night only if I wore makeup that day. The, it's really just to get the makeup off and then to re-moisturize my skin, you know, from having washed it. Um, in the mornings, I just don't need to wash my face twice a day and and I think that a lot of people aggravate their skin because they're washing it too often uh, with you know things that are stripping the natural oils and that type of thing from their face and so um, I just know that I don't need to wash my face twice a day uh, it's it I don't feel that greasy in the morning when I wake up even when I do a full you know skincare routine the night before um, usually what I'll do is while I'm in the shower I'll just kind of rinse it off you know with water and so then in the morning I will usually I'll moisturize it again you know when I get out of the shower I'll add some moisture back into it but I don't use full skincare lines twice a day um, when I moisturize in the morning I usually use a moisturizer that has some SPF in it and I'm, I'm good to go um, so these weren't particularly drying to me because number one I I didn't use them twice a day. If you are using something regularly twice a day, it could not only be more drying, but it could also stimulate more oil production too. So it could actually, you know, potential to make you more oily. Um, but I did not experience either of those things, maybe because I only used it once a day. The second reason is because um, if I don't wear makeup, then I don't do full face care at night. Uh, I will just do the same thing as I do in the morning in that case and I'll just rinse it off in the shower at night with you know the water and then I might apply some moisturizer back to it if it feels you know a little dry or tight so I definitely did not have a problem with um, drying I would suggest that if you are using it in experiencing dryness to maybe only do it once a day or um, you know, maybe only use, if you're using the serum, maybe only use the serum once a day, that kind of thing. You can always kind of adjust to suit your own needs. So anyway, for me it was not, I didn't have a problem with drying. Again, everybody is different, so just keep that in mind as you are, you know, trying the products. As far as seeing results um, and how quickly, 
I, I can't really tell you that because since I don't have a problem with outbreaks um, as far as as acne goes, um, I don't I don't really have anything to judge it against. You know, I can't say that oh it cleared up my acne in such and such amount of time because I I don't have a problem with acne, um, which also means that I can't really tell you whether it prevents an acne outbreak or not. Um, I can tell you that there have been nights where I've been lazy here and there and gone to bed with my or even on accident fallen asleep with my makeup on and I've not experienced uh, a real breakout from doing that lately um is it because these products are kind of preventing that from happening it's it's possible um, but again even when I do that it's it's just here or there that I might get a little bit of something and it's usually just a surface you know, pimple. It's usually not anything cystic or extremely deep, and it's really not that big of a deal. So I haven't had one of those breakouts in a while, um, but I also have been pretty good about, you know, washing my makeup off at night. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. And so again, I can't really tell you as far as clearing up the acne or preventing breakouts. That is what this product line is to, is designed to do, and. Um, so, like I said before, if you are having trouble with it and you haven't found anything else that's working for you, then it's it's worth giving it a shot if you can afford the products. Just, you know, you do one round of it and see how it works for you. And just kind of go from there. All additional information is available on the website. I'm obviously going to link the website down in the information bar below, just like I always do. So definitely use that link and and go to the site as a reference if you've got more questions or if there's something that I you feel like I maybe didn't cover for you um, but I think we're pr pretty much going to cover just about everything today now the price range is different the only thing that is is cheaper than the thirty two dollars is is the sample I think it's like fifteen dollars the code that I offered weeks ago um, gave it to you for like two dollars and change so um, when this is available, that is cheaper, but the regular size line, like the trial size, is up to the full sizes range anywhere from $32 to $62. I'm just going to break down these products individually and um, kind of tell you what I think about them and kind of cover the benefits of each one specifically. And um, I've been using these products for, you know, quite some time, but I really haven't used up very much of the product. They really, a little bit goes a long way with these, and so I'm going to um, just kind of show you that as we go along. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is um, the cleanser. And I just want to give you kind of a rundown of how the products are suggested to be used. It says, for best results, first you're supposed to use the cleanser, you know, clean your face and your neck, and then um, pat your skin dry. And then you're supposed to use the Intensive Blemish Serum by applying it directly to blemishes and apply the Stay Clear Cream to the rest of your face morning and night. After the blemishes clear up, you're supposed to continue using the cream twice daily to keep the skin clear and moisturized and then that will also help to reduce the breakouts, any post blemish scarring, you know, so dark marks and things that you would have and any other skin discoloration. So, and then some of the uh, kind of uh, bullet points about the products it's got the patent pending YS3 complex, it's clinically proven results, it has natural ingredients, it's ideal for teens, men, and women, good for all skin types, rapidly clears blemishes, helps prevent breakouts, helps correct hyperpigmentation, typoallergenic, fragrance free, oil free, alcohol free, and non drying. The Stay Clear Cleanser is an advanced non drying formulation containing natural cleansing agents, antibacterials, and keratolytics to unclog pores, remove oil, bacteria, and debris while maintaining your skin's natural pH balance. Lycopene, an, a powerful antioxidant, neutralizes environmental free radicals that damage skin. Chamomile and honey extracts will leave your skin feeling refreshed and moisturized. So those are the, the information they provide for the cleanser. Again, this is, this is the box. This is what the product looks like. And I don't know if you can see, but um, I really... I haven't gone through a whole lot because you really just don't need very much. It's a little pump and I'm going to show you what it looks like, which I hate to do that because I hate to waste it. But So I just use one pump for my whole face and it just comes out, can you see, like a kind of a clear, it almost kind of looks like a serum, just a clear little uh, amount. And it doesn't really foam up, 
very much so just keep that in mind if you're somebody who really likes a foaming cleanser this does not foam um, very much on the skin I will tell you with the cleanser um, I feel like you probably should use a makeup removing wipe first before using the cleanser to really loosen up your makeup and um, break it up and remove the makeup first and then use the cleanser the cleanser is one of those that is um, a little milder because it doesn't foam up it just kind of you just kind of rub it you know on your face and neck and um, when you rinse it off or wipe it off with a moist washcloth uh, it doesn't it's not one of those that leaves your skin feeling like super squeaky clean or or tight you know what I mean where you feel like if you rubbed your skin it would squeak um, or tight so a lot of people don't don't like that feeling and so if you're one of those people who doesn't like that feeling then you probably will really enjoy the cleanser but I do feel like you it does require a makeup removing wipe ahead of time I don't think it really um, breaks makeup up as as well as some other products so just keep that in mind all these products do come with full instructions inside them as well so I'll just let you know that now the full size cleanser I have not actually used this one yet because I have been using the um, I've actually been using the little uh, travel size of the e-system because you need so little uh, kind of product at a time or at least I haven't needed a lot of product that this has been working really well for me and, and just like the cleanser I've not been going through a ton of the product um, but you know again this is the the full size of the e-system and this one has the bigger serum so if you have a lot more breakouts um, you're going to need the bigger serum size and then it has the travel size cleanser or the travel size cream in it and so you know this is a good one to either keep in your purse or something as far as that and then have the big one you know at home for when you're washing your face at home um, but if you have a lot of blemishes and you're going to need to be spot treating a lot then I would get this one with, of the e-system because it gives you the bigger serum I have been using the the travel size e-system the smaller one with the 0.23 fluid ounces of both items so the blemish serum you know because I don't break out a lot I have not needed to use it very often at all um, I have used it a, you know a few times I used it a few times just for the sake of using it um, even though I didn't really have a, a particular blemish to put it on I just kind of used it in spots that I might break out in more likely just to see how it works and the cleanser and the the cream don't really have a scent to speak of that I notice but the serum does it has kind of a minty smell to it and it it's kind of a combination between minty and herbally it sort of reminds me of um, kind of reminds me of rosemary but if I had to guess I would say it might be the chamomile that they mentioned before in the products I'm really not sure but it's kind of a mix between you know minty and an herbal scent and it's it's very reminiscent of the way a toner would smell it comes out kind of like it is liquidy but it's kind of like a thick liquid and I have never needed this much I've only needed just a tiny I mean this is a full pump I've never needed a full pump you know if you if you only have one little blemish I mean you just need like a little fingers dot worth of it <laughs> so anyway that's why I haven't used up a lot of the product because I just don't need very much of it at all uh, the times that I have used it but it goes on it, it does feel somewhat like a toner would feel going on the face it has a little bit of a medicinal sort of feel to it this is the product that did cause my face to you know kind of tingle kind of sting a little bit so keep that in mind but again if it has properties that work similar to the way a toner would work you know that that might make sense um, to a lot of people that it it might tingle a little bit uh, but anyway so you just take this and you you know put it on rub it into your blemishes morning and night just like I gave you the information about before so um, it, it was a nice product it did sting a little bit for me but um, I can see that it would help to kill off some you know any kind of infection that you have down in the pores and that type of thing so it makes sense to me that that would help to fight acne and then the other item is the um, cream and you really don't need very much of this 
either. Um, I use a pump. I just use one pump all over the face. This one is a little more of a yellow color, uh, but it's more like, you know, a, a typical lotion. You know, this just goes on like, like any other face care lotion would. Um, it's, to me, this is more, more like a lotion, a little thicker than a lotion, a little thinner than a cream type of consistency, which that's typically good for somebody who is suffering from breakouts anyway, because a lot of times creams can be too thick and too emollient and too rich. Um, if, you know, if you have particularly oily skin, you don't necessarily need, um, it to be that, that rich or that thick anyhow. Although there is debate about whether putting uh, oil, the oils onto your skin will make your skin stop producing it as much anyway. So that is uh, the cream. And so like I said, I've just been using it at night. I use the cleanser. I have been using like a makeup, some type of makeup remover first to get, um, you know, I use my eye makeup remover to get my eye makeup off. And then I either use a wipe or else I use some more of my eye makeup remover and, you know, rub it over my face to, to really break up all my makeup and get it off. Um, I do feel like that's an important step that you would need when using this cleanser. Um, I just think it's going to be important to make sure you remove your makeup first. So, but then I use the cleanser just like I would any other cleanser. Uh, some of the time I've been using the serum just to try the serum out and then always I've been using the cream. I haven't been using it uh, twice. I haven't been doing the regimen twice a day. I've just been doing it at night and I only do it at night if I have worn makeup that day. So those are the products. Those are my kind of a breakdown of the products and how they work and my initial thoughts on them. The moisturizer um, I do feel like is a sufficient moisturizer. It's not one of those, uh, the cream, it's not one of those where you feel like you need to add additional moisture even after you put it on. I have had that issue with, with products in the past. Um, so I do feel like it's it provides suffic sufficient moisturization to you know kind of get you through your day and you don't necessarily feel like you need to put something else on on top of it. So that's a bonus for me because I a lot of times when you're using something uh, a product that is designed to prevent acne or clear up breakouts um, a lot of times they are drying and they don't feel particularly moisturizing and sometimes you do feel like you need to add additional products on top of your face or more moisturizer a different type different type of moisturizer sort of on top of the moisturizer they give you so I think that's definitely a benefit those are the products those are kind of my thoughts on them and how they work for me and how I've used them um, to best suit my needs again I have the link to um, the websites below so go check out the Evology website you do order products directly from the website so um, the breakdown in pricing based on the sizes is all there the different sizes available is all there and all of the kind of um, specific information and testing results and all that sort of information is there as well and some background information on how the company was started so if you have an interest in checking that out um, click the link below and go take a look so if you have any questions about the products or if there's anything that I didn't really answer for you or something you'd like for me to kind of tell you a little more about for any reason then just leave leave your question below and I will follow up with you and I believe that is everything I have to say so I hope this has been helpful and giving you a little bit of uh, helpful information or at least enough information to really get you started and I will see you next time bye